And it, it, it was just, we're about to unleash and, 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 and reveal the new 2024 Nissan GTR. Woo! No, it was dry. It was boring. It was like, pull back the curtains. Ha, gotcha, bitch. Same car. New price. MSRP. 20000 over. Uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna be the one to say it. Uh, Nissan, hey, what y'all doing? I can't get my Tukami and Nakuzaru, you know, on with that. What y'all doing? We got the Dark Horse coming out, just being a little bit ignorant. We got, you got Chevy doing the Corvette, you know, and the E-Ray at that. You know, we, we getting some places. And this is what Nissan chooses to do with the classic and ever beloved Nissan GTR. I mean, really, we were looking for the makers of, you know, a Godzilla to really bring us something. And I don't even. Here we go. So it was just announced the new 2024 Nissan GTR. And the specs came through. And this is what we get to look at and be willing to pay for and wait for, I guess. This is going to take them another year to complete for full production. I don't even know how that's possible, considering it has the same gearbox, has the same all-wheel drive system. It has the same, you know, nothing wrong with that uh, for the most part, but it had the same twin turbo motor. For the basic one, you get 560 some odd horses, and then for the Nismo, you go around getting, what, what was it, like 590 or some shit like that. That's great. Don't get me started on how they unveiled it. That had to be so dry. Like I was looking at that and it, it looked like the sheet got caught on the back spoiler. But hear me out. They could have at least given us some kind of tune to uh, the, the 20 horsepower, maybe 30 horsepower or more. Maybe a tweak to the all wheel drive, but you know what they say, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's gonna take these folks another year or so to put this car into production, we have a bigger problem. But wait, there's more. You get this beautiful new aerodynamic build and it's pretty, don't, don't, don't get me twisted, it's pretty. It's nice, yeah, little tweaks on the interior. And as far as comfortability go, because I'm big on comfort. I like to feel good and, and comfortable when I'm driving a sports car, even a supercar, hypercars, I, I guess this, you, you kinda gonna have to give up a few things. But I ain't in that tax bracket to be buying hypercars. You know, one million dollar cars, not for me. Anybody that's watching this, if that's for you, do your thing. But yeah, not me. Now, when I first looked at this car uh, being announced, I'm like, man, is this gonna be the last one? Are they about to really come and bring us something? And I'm like, yeah, you know, Nissan like to like to play with us. Unlike their drivers, I've seen Nissan Altima drivers act like they are just owning the road. I can't never find a Nissan Altima or Maxima without a messed up bumper or a scratch on it. In fact, if y'all can send me a picture of one that does not have body damage, I'm gonna be amazed, cause that's not what I see. I always see these dang things out there like that. But I don't look at the people who will buy a Nissan GTR like I look at the people who are going to buy a Nissan Altima or Maxim. So of course I'm not. I'm not gonna put them in the same boat. Or should I? This is what they brought us. This is the amazing new renovation to a semi-classic design that they've had for the past, what, 10, 15 years on the motor. And hey, they, they didn't totally reinvent the vehicle. And maybe that is, for some, that's just exactly what they need. They say, hey, look, like I said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But honestly, from the looks of it, I, there has to be something else up. What's else? What else is out there in the works that they had to, in a sense, skip on this one because they got the money, they got the revenue, they have the ingenuity, they have the engineers, they have the workers, but you know what? I can't be the only one with this opinion. Uh, let's call on another expert that's way more uh, experienced in this field 
of the automotive world and I. Hey yo, Black Car Guru, tell us what you're thinking. How's it going everybody? It's the Black Car Guru and y'all already knew once I seen the new R35 GTR, I, I had to get on you GTR guys ass. I just had to. Nissan need they ass whipped. They didn't even try with the R36. This not even an R36. This an R35 with a slightly updated front and rear fashion. Only thing that they did was give it a lot of cosmetic things. Like the only big difference is not only do you have the base model this year, you know, for 2024 and the Nismo model, but they're coming back out with the T-Spec. Here's the biggest difference with the T-Spec. It's supposed to have uh, bigger carbon ceramic brakes. It's supposed to have Nismo 20 inch wheels, uh, a green interior, wider front fenders, run flats from Dunlap, um, a Nismo tune VDC system. Um, and then it's supposed to come in two special colors, Millennium Jade or the Midnight Purple. But y'all made us wait all this time thinking that it was going to be a brand new update. It's going to have more horsepower. I mean, look at Dodge, for example. Dodge has been consistent with adding more power to all of their vehicles. Throw a Hellcat and all of it. No, not y'all. Y'all set y'all ass in that office and said, you know what? Let's just give it a few uh, minor updates. Not to the drivetrain, but let's just give it a, a, a slightly modified front fashion. Yeah, people like that. No, the only people that's going to buy this fucking thing are like the diehard enthusiasts that can afford this fucking car after the dealerships mark it up like a hundred thousand more dollars. It's like y'all sat in that office and just decided, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Front fashion updates. Uh a big a slightly bigger rear wing for more downforce and a limited slip dis differential a better one how about that yeah people will like it y'all need y'all ass beat with the biggest stick in the front of that nissan building and then you're gonna have them die hard fanboys that go oh well if you don't like it don't buy it oh this is my favorite one it's my favorite one. It makes a crap ton of power uh, when you start modifying. That's besides the point. We're talking about out the factory. That's why Dodge will always be the best, no matter how much I, I clown them on uh, my, my, uh, my page. But <laughs> they will always be the best when it comes to setting a standard for horsepower. Yeah, they're heavy as hell, but they said, you know what? Screw it. 707 horsepower and everything. We're going to put this on a kid's tricycle. Now say something. Now, Auto Beef, I already know you got some stupid coming. I'm going to be waiting to see what you do. Not a man speaks nothing but the facts on that one, but here's the thing. I'm, call me old school. You can take me back to a nice, clean R34, and I am good. When they, when they gave you the nice little, you know, light upgrade, some good, comfortable interior, you know the dash. Still ahead of its time, and, and it still look good today. I guess I'm showing my age, but... I don't know. I'm cool for the R34s. I know there's some people out there like, no, R32 is it, man. And if it's not the R32, it's not for you. No, it's, it, I'm an R34, man. If I had to go Nissan, that's what I'd probably be. Go ahead, try them. Like I said, is this the last year that we're going to be seeing the GTR in 2024? Are they going to stop this production after that? I really don't know much of that. I'm, maybe y'all know more about that. You got to tell me. You got to you gotta give me some of the info because right now, I don't really believe that it's going to do too much. And if this is the last uh, rendition of the GTRs that we love so much, how much are they going to charge for this? If you had the money, would you buy one? Hell, if you had the money, would you buy that or something else? If you wouldn't buy that, what would you buy? But that's my rant for today. Thank you to the Black Car Guru for going ahead chiming in as well. Y'all be cool, be you, be safe, be awesome. And as always, see you at the finish line.